This is an example of a chart that we are told is the stoichiometric burn ratios for um, internal combustion engines. What we're not told is that this particular chart actually is most effective for external combustion of gasoline. What happens in an internal combustion engine is quite a bit different. And although this is the stoichiometric ratios for fuel, for gasoline, uh, in internal combustion engines, that actually has little relevance, as you'll soon see. Let's take my wife's Aveo out for a test drive and collect some actual data. It looks like out there. Once I got home, I went on the internet to gather our local um, ambient weather data, and now with the information I collected from the scan gauge and the information off the internet, I'll be able to use that data to make our actual air fuel ratio calculations. So as you've seen from actual raw data that you can go out and measure yourself with equipment that's now available to mechanics generally anywhere, we can, we can determine that the air-fuel ratio, the actual air-fuel ratio, not the mass air-fuel ratio or the stoichiometric air-fuel ratio, the actual air-fuel ratio that vehicles are using as they're driving down the road is quite a bit leaner than is officially recognized. And this is the point I'm trying to make. There's a, there's a lot of things that aren't taught to mechanics, and it's just kind of glossed over. I'm now trying to make that clear.